Hello, brother teacher here. Well, let me preface this video by making this statement. I want to say this to everyone that's watching you right now, and that is, I'm not trying to make a pretty video. Not a lot of tapestry, a whole lot of hoopla, a whole lot of decorations in the background, and so on and so forth. Get the message. That's what the video is all about. If I was standing in the middle of a park doing this same video, the information is still the same, no matter where you might find me. But in this particular instance, I'm sitting in my store location. So, cutting to the chase. We're talking about the dangers of energy drinks today. Real quick, you're going to see a series of videos following this one more than likely that are not going to be necessarily really long but just something to get you to think about these particular subjects in this particular video as I said it's about the dangers of energy drinks now, I'm just going to scave the surface for the most part but I want you to understand energy drinks are a multi billion dollar business annually for the producers of those drinks here we have one very popular drink that you're familiar with, Red Bull. Then we have Monster. We have Spider. And even a cheaper one, Rip It. But there are literally hundreds of these energy drinks on the market. So what makes them bad? Well, first of all, what makes them good? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. People consume these because of that catchphrase, energy. Do they speed up your energy? Give you more energy? Not really. What they do is cause your heart to palpitate and or beat faster. You think that you're getting more energy. But because of the amount of sugar that's contained in the beverage and the caffeine which in most cases is equal to two cups or more of coffee in most of them. That's what gives you what appears to be energy. And then later on, it drops you down to the very bottom. You sink. And then you find people going to buy another energy drink to pick them back up again. Now, who wants to have irregular heart beat or arrhythmias that's not normal? That's what these energy drinks do to you. They also, let me back up a second, too much caffeine consumed at one time in energy drinks. That's not good for you. I'm a coffee drinker. I don't drink a pot of coffee a day. As a matter of fact, I kind of sparingly drink coffee now. But with an energy drink, you're getting that uh, amount of caffeine that you would get in two or three cups of coffee all at one time and most people usually just down the energy drink instantly not over time like you're sipping a cup of coffee they just down it and then there have been many cases where people have been hospitalized from drinking too many energy drinks either in a day or a daily throughout the day so caffeine is a culprit taurine has been known to be a culprit as far as bad health as well from the result of uh, drinking these these energy drinks so another big one and please pay attention to this aspartame it is an artificial sugar that causes cancer yes I said that it is very carcinogenic now let me tell you something I noticed before I did this particular video I watched some other people talking about uh, energy drinks and their benefits and, and non-benefits and these particular gentlemen on these videos that I watched most of them were into bodybuilding and most of them were trying to say that there's scientific evidence that says that energy drinks are good for you and that they don't do anything harmful to the human body I differ okay don't believe it don't believe the fluff 99% of the videos that I saw, they were all the bodybuilder type 
of individuals. So they're going to promote those things that they do. You follow what I'm saying? But understand this. Use your common sense. Don't be deceived. Too much caffeine, number one. And number two, it has other chemicals that are harmful to you. Do your due diligence. Do your research and find what I'm saying to you today to be true. Aspartame is deadly. Stay away from it. Now I can go back into the other artificial sweeteners, but that's not particularly for this video. And I have done one in time past about NutraSweet and uh, Splenda and Sacralose and so on and so forth. But aspartame is found in most your energy drinks and is deadly. So stay away from aspartame or the energy drinks in general. So, what do I do, brother teacher for energy? Let me tell you what you do. First of all, try to modify your lifestyle so that you're not so burnt out and so that you're not so tired. Sleep when you're supposed to be sleeping. Stop staying up all night long. So the very next day you, you think an energy drink is gonna give you a boost or a kick and it's gonna bring you back to life or so forth, no. You can't go against nature. When your body wants to sleep, when your body is exhausted, it's exhausted and it needs to sleep and it needs to repair itself. You cannot go against that principle or that concept. Understand this. So, make sure that you take control of your life or your life is going to take control of you and then you might end up with no life. So, eat healthy, get exercise, activity, get up, move around. Uh, make sure that you have three to four days of uh, uh, exercise throughout the week. Make sure that you're eating wholesome. Make sure that you're eating uh, organic foods for the most part. Stay away from processed foods and stay away from energy drinks. This is Brother Teacher. If you have any questions per pertaining to this particular subject, you know what to do. Leave it in the comment section below and I'll try my ve very best to respond. I'm out.